Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. I didn't hear no hallelujah. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Oh, my. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. stuff inside them back back then. You know they you know they're making meat, right? Y'all know it. They're making meat. Oh hallelujah. But guess what? God still lives. Amen. Oh, school lesson this morning. Well, yeah, yeah, you might need a little cheering up. Amen. But those of us who was in that Sunday school lesson this morning, mm -hmm. that was heavy. Yes. Oh, do you remember? Oh, yes. It was amazing. Yes. We were in the book of Revelation yes. talking about the things that are to come. Amen. They're coming. Amen. The signs are everywhere. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. Have y'all observed this new generation of children? Oh, oh, Come on. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. They come out the womb mm. with a computer in their hands. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. sure. How many of y'all know about AI? Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Artificial, Artificial intelligence. Yeah, intelligence. Mm -hmm. Your brain ain't good enough. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make this machine. How many of y'all know they're already here? Amen. Yeah. They're already here. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. They got this stuff. Some fool get a hold of that button. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, no? Amen. Get a hold of that button. You see, we... we, we We lose sight of certain things when we get so holy. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. And then, oh, I don't watch the news. You better watch the news. You better watch. instructed to watch. The word tells us to watch. Amen. Watch. Watch. Fight and pray. Amen. Amen. We're living in serious times. Yes, Lord. Yeah, and we're going we're gonna to get ready for the word. And let me tell you this, once we set the stage for the word, don't worry about the program and announcements and this. Once the stage is set, once the glory of God comes into this place, nothing. Did I hear somebody say nothing? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. nothing. can remove what we established yeah, right. here and intercession. Yeah, right. What we 
establish here, no fool can walk through that Amen. door. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. You feel me, sister? Yes, Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. This is serious business. Amen. I feel it all over. I'm ready to run. Amen. <laughs> oh my God, I'm ready to run. Amen. Jesus, I'm ready to run. Of 
Jesus. That keep us from doing the work of the kingdom, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God, we thank you. We give you glory, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for our pastor, Lord God. Lord God, that you will strengthen him no more, God. That you will increase the wisdom, God. Hallelujah. Breathe on the vision that you've given him, Lord. Send what he needs, God. Send a refreshing to his spirit and his mind, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, continue to cover and protect him, Lord God. Continue to order his steps, God. Oh, God, we pull down any distractions, God, that come against the, the, the um, plan that you've given him for this ministry, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, equip the leaders, Lord God, that they can help him with the vision, God, in the name of Jesus. Don't let us be a hindrance to him, Lord God. Don't let us cause no distractions to him, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Equip us the more, God. Give us our wisdom, God, to flow in the Holy Ghost, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we ask you for the baptism of the Holy Ghost for the ones that don't have it, God. Oh, we need the Holy Ghost in this hour. Oh, you cannot move forward without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. God, empower us with the Holy Ghost, God. God, give us discernment, God, so we'll know how to flow in the Spirit, God, when you let your presence fall in this place, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we lift up Sister Vera to you, Lord God. Lord God, let your will be done concerning her, Lord God. Oh, we still standing on the miracle, God, that you're going to perform concerning her, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we plead the blood over her life right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I feel in my spirit we just need to just plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh God, we just ask that you have your way. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you pull down a form of God in this right now. In the name of Oh, we can't go forward. We can't go forward with a performing spirit. We can't go forward if we got a form of God in this. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you reveal mysteries to us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 slain for us. Yeah. It was slain for every last one of us. Yeah. And you know, if you read in your Bible, it said the four beasts, mm -hmm. they got down to their knees and they started praising God. And when they started praising God, 24 elders got down on their knees and they started praising God. So I'm telling you, telling you to say this today. While we in this church, at this time, at this moment, Let's give our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the praise that he truly, truly deserves. Because if you know he's doing anything for you, you're going to want to give him some praise. Yes, Lord. And you're going to want to say hallelujah. You. You're going to want to say amen. amen. You're going to want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You're going to want to say the blood of Jesus yes. has power. Yes. How many know that the blood of Jesus has power? Yes. But we say it every Sunday. The yes. blood, when he died on that cross, he rose with all power all in the palm of his hand. Yes, Lord. You hear me? He rose with all power. All not some power, not just a little bit of power, but all power. All power. Amen. Yes, Lord. Ooh. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all your land. Yes. Serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah. 
and enter his court with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Yeah. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, yeah. and his truth endures forever to all generations. Yeah. Amen. Amen. May the Lord have a blessing to the hear of his word. <laughs> I'm going to try to join in with me in the, in the, in the, on the back of your program. And we're going to sing, At the Cross. At the Cross. At the Cross. So many things happened on that cross. Our Jesus died on that cross. Our Jesus, when he died on that cross, like I said before, he died and he rose. He got up. 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 And like I said, when he got up, he got up with all power in his hand. So I'm going to say this while Pastor's getting himself situated. When he got up, he rose with all power. So that tells me that no matter what you're going through, no matter what situation you're in, because I know a God who can do all. Because let me say this. There are so many people right here right now going through so many medical procedures and so many this, that, and other things. Put your faith in Jesus. Amen. We put your faith in Jesus because he said he has the power. All you need is the faith. If you got the faith, he got the power. No matter what sickness that the doctor said you might have, no matter they say, oh, there's nothing we can do about your back, no back, they can't, there's nothing they can do about your feet. Well, I know who can. I believe my Jesus can do all things. I believe my Jesus can make a way out of nowhere. I my Jesus can put food in my refrigerator when it looked down. You hear what I'm saying? So we will give God the honor. We will give him the glory. And we will give him the praise. Because we do not know what tomorrow is going to bring. We don't even know if we will make it to the end of the day. We don't, Jesus might come today. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to bow down and say, Lord, hear that man? Amen. Come on, let's, let's get started, Pastor. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. At, oh, at last I did my Savior bleed and did my sovereign die. Would he be cold and sacred for such a word as I? Where I first saw the light and the burdens I 
for who he is. Thank him for what he's done for us. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus is all that we need. Yeah. By the glory of God, we thank him thank for his sacrifice yes. on the cross. Mm -hmm. We thank God for raising him from the dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we praise his name. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you would, let us stand for the reading of God's word, if you're able. Amen. We're coming out of the book of Hebrews, and we're going to be in the second chapter. And I'll begin reading at verse 11. But I'll conclude in Acts and Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. So I'll begin reading at verse 11, Hebrews 2. And I'll conclude in Hebrews 3, 1. Amen. 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 If we uh, want to give them a moment to come on in. Amen. We're going to hold them. Okay. God be the glory. Amen. 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 Hebrews chapter 2. Amen. Come on in and hear the word of the Lord being spoken. Amen. Amen. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Half or more than half of them that just came through the door as family members. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Let us. Uh, let us focus now on his word, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 11. The word of God so says, For both he that is sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, mm -hmm. saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, behold, I and the children which God hath given me. 14. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh mm -hmm. and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had power over death, mm -hmm. that is the devil, yeah. and deliver them who through fear of death were all their life, subject to bondage for verily he took not on him the nature of angels but he took on him the seed of abraham wherefore in all things it might behoove him to be made like unto his brethren that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to god to make reconciliation for the sins of the people for in that he himself have suffered being tempted, he is able to secure them that are tempted. Final verse, chapter 3, verse 1. Wherefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank God for the word. And if, on, the look, on the back of your hymn, the next hymn would be Yield Not to Temptation. Yield Not to Temptation. Amen. <clears throat> Y'all join in with me. Don't let me sing it by myself. Because we're here to fellowship. We're here to give our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. Amen. Amen. Yield not to temptation. For yielding is sin. Oh.
Father, we know you can do all things. Yeah. You can do all things. Yeah. You can do all things. Yeah. You can do all things. But fail, Lord. And we're waiting on that miracle, Father. If this is your will, we ask that your will be done. Oh, Father, let us take up your word today. Oh, Father, let us take this word that being preached today. That we can take it out in our community. And we can share God's love. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, Father, just thank you right now. In the name of Jesus. All these things I'm asking. I'm asking right now on the bending knees. I'm asking that name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we say amen. We say amen. We say amen. Thank you. I got to thank him. I have to thank him. Because he's been so good to me. I thank him. I worship him. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised this morning. Give him your all. Give him your all. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could have been in my grave, but Lord, you got me here. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. He's worthy. He's worthy. combat the devil with uh -huh. because yeah. the scriptures declare that he's going to inherit the, the, yes. the, uh, the, the praises of his people. Yeah. So if we want the presence of God to be known, let's praise him. Yeah. Let the world know that we're not ashamed yeah. of the gospel of Jesus uh -huh. Christ. Yeah. So we're not ashamed yeah. to say thank you, thank Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Not he or him yeah. or his or the man upstairs, yeah. but Jesus. That's where they say that if there's power in his name, why not use that name as much as we can, as often as we can, to draw all the power from heaven that we can, to unleash the power on the inside that we can, by calling on that name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised today. He's worthy 
to the trees every single day. But since we're together with one another, let's yeah. praise him yeah. with one voice. Yeah. Today, yeah. you have to be ashamed to lift your voice. Yeah. Sometimes we sit up in the Lord's house and thought, you can't praise God silently. Yeah. That does not happen. Yeah. Scripture say confess with your mouth. Yeah. That's even your praise. Yeah. Yeah. Confess your praise yeah. with your mouth. Oh not by nodding your head or shaking your but let that hallelujah out of your yeah. mouth. Yeah. Let that amen out of your mouth. Yeah. I'm trying to encourage somebody today to, to be set free from wherever uh -huh. you yeah. are. Yeah. So, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because you keep it inside and it's going to fester. Yeah. It's going to grow. Yeah. It's, become, it's going to become malignant and it's yeah. going to eat you alive if you let it. Hallelujah. So let it free. That's what the Holy Spirit on the inside of us says. Let this free. Let, let it go. This is why I'm here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God all right today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that all is well with, 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 with everyone because there's, there's something heavy on my spirit. I don't know who it is or where it's come from, but I pray that all is well with each one. You know, the scriptures that said that your old man old man going to dream dreams, but I have one that, that's reoccurring. So I pray that everything is well with everyone. That including myself and my family. Hallelujah. So, But I see y'all here at church on Sunday morning. Amen. And that's a good thing yes. because we could have been so many other places today yes. that's sitting in the Lord's house. But I thank God that all the events up to now led you to sit in this house today yes. to hear whatever word that God is going to speak to you. Mm -hmm. I know that he's given me words to speak, mm -hmm. but I'm not always sure of what I say mm -hmm. is what you hear. Mm -hmm. Because the Spirit is also speaking to each and every one Amen. while this word goes forth. Yeah. And when I encourage you, hallelujah, hallelujah it's all right. Come on, the Lord's out this morning. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> when the word goes forth, yeah. hearken your ear yeah. and harden not your heart. Yeah. And hear what the Spirit says yeah. to the church. The church. Yeah. Amen. Are there any announcements that are not in the bulletin, brother? They're all in the bulletin. They're all in the bulletin. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So with that being said, uh, after him a, med uh, a selection, I was told not to say him a meditation. We say selection. Amen. Okay. <laughs> I was corrected on that duly and truly. A selection by our praise team. A word from the Lord. Yeah. So with a hand clap of praise for our God, let us welcome the praise. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Before we do this song, I just want to share um, a scripture that comes from John 14, verse 27. And it talks about God's peace. He says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. And then he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Well. And do not be afraid. Mm. Always peace yes, yes, yes. with Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. That, that, praise God. Amen. 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 In spite of all that's going on within us, all that's going on around us, I look around and see the smiles on everyone's face. Just like that song I agree, may, may we all have God's grace, God's mercy, and most of all, God's peace. Because without God's peace, we'll never make it through the course of a single day. Amen. Amen. It's God's peace that keeps us sane in an insane world, yes, sir. around insane people, yes. in an insane environment. Yes. Without God's peace, you would be just as insane as everyone else around you. Right. I promise you that. Right. Because you become a product of your environment uh -huh. involuntarily. Yes. Stick around long enough, and you become just like the environment that you're in. Uh -huh. That's why the Bible says that bad manners going to corrupt you. Yes. So, hallelujah. Yes. So we stay away from folks with bad manners. Hallelujah, we stay away from crazy people because you're going to be crazy just like them. Yeah. It's a fact of life, church. Yeah. And we don't realize the change. Everyone around you can see it before you will. Yeah. And when they try to tell you that you're crazy, no, you hate. No, I'm not hating. you crazy. Yeah. There's a, hallelujah, there's a difference. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Sermon for another day. To God be the glory. Yeah. But to be in the Lord's house again, we say it every Sunday is a blessing. Yeah. It is an absolute blessing to yeah. sit in church on Sunday morning and even though there, there are those, 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 I have those feelings, I could not wait to get to church this morning oh so that I could see all of you. What a blessing. Church, y'all have no idea how you bless me every single Sunday. Oh it's a privilege to stand before you. It's a, I'm telling you, it's a privilege to serve you. It really, really is. And I thank God for each and every Sunday that he gives me life and health and strength <laughs> yeah. that I can come before you, stand aside, Release that spirit that's in me yeah. so it can speak to the spirit that's in you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we keep on keeping on. Amen. Yeah. Scripture this morning will be coming from the book of Job in the fifth chapter. And while you search the scripture, just to remind you every Sunday as I do, while you woke up today, somebody else took their last breath. Yeah. Be thankful for this day. It is a gift from God. Therefore, blessings and good day. I greet you yet again. I do not come to make friends or entertain you. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. Amen. Amen. Not just words. Just in case you're curious, that is Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. Amen. I live by it. And I thank God for it. Job chapter 5. We're going to be looking at verses 17 through 27. Something that walks right in line, talking about God's mercy and God's peace. Now we all, I shouldn't say all, most of us are familiar with the story of Job and his friends. And uh, they were uh, of the mindset that he had to have done something wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because God don't punish good people. Mm -hmm. Job, you did something. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did, Job. I don't care what you say. How the how upright you think you are. You in this mess because you did something. Amen. Job chapter 5. Amen. Starting at verse 17. If you're there, say amen. If not, say hold on. Amen. 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 And the word of the Lord says, Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make hold. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall be no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Keep that in mind. When it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. This is not because it's comical, but just to the fact that you are not, it's not bothering you. Amen. And it should. Amen? Amen. Neither, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. Hallelujah. And thou shalt visit thy habitation, and shalt not sin. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, 
and thine offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age, like as a shock of corn cometh in his season. Lo this, we have searched it, so it is. Hear it, and know thou it for thy good. Job chapter 5, verses 17 to 27. The word of God for the people of God in the church said, Amen. 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 And from verse 18. He maketh for he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth and his hands make whole. With the aid of the Holy Spirit to speak for just a little while, a little while about spiritual healing. Oh Amen. Amen. We all wounded, every single one of us. Some deeper than others, but wounded, just the same. Don't know what caused your wound, and in many cases, it's not relevant because he who can fix the wounds is dwells within all of us. So whatever is ailing you in your spirit, this is why I encourage everyone every Sunday to release those things because they fester on the inside of you. They, they, they quench your spirit and they grieve your own spirit. We grieve our own spirits more than anybody else because we, we, we got this self-talk. Most of our self-talk is negative. Amen. Amen. We find difficulty saying good things about ourselves. Amen. We could call up that bad stuff in a New York second and just riddle you out from now on everything that is going wrong. Uh -huh. But ask about the good times. What about the good days? Ain't you got some good days? Ain't you supposed to be a Christian? Ain't Jesus supposed to be all of that? Well, where are your good days? Amen. We're supposed to have some. And we're supposed to tell somebody about it. Not bemoan everybody we see about what's going wrong in our lives. Amen. Your spirit needs to be healed in order for these things to take place. With a wounded spirit, you are wide open for everything flying around out there. What the scripture said, you're like a city with no walls. Amen. So anything can and will walk in. This is why Satan, our enemy, targets what we see and what we hear. We are polluted every day with things that will grieve our spirit. But we can't keep them from coming in, yeah. Yeah. but we can keep them from staying in. Yeah. Yeah. That's where that spirit inside of us empowers us to do these things. Yeah. If we could do them on our own, we wouldn't need God for nothing. Yeah. We wouldn't need to come to church. We wouldn't need to sing no songs or clap hands. Or None of that mm -hmm. would be relevant if we could do it on yeah. ourselves. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's what we sound like trying to do that stuff. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but we need God. And we need our spirits to be healed. Yeah. All of us do. Yeah. All of us do. It's a process. It's not instant. Mm -hmm. First of all, you got to find out that I do have a problem. Amen. 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 And those problems always start on the inside. Mm -hmm. Before a word is spoken, before hands are laid on, before a foot goes forward, everything on the inside of us has to agree mm -hmm. yeah. before it goes forward. Mm -hmm. This is why your spirit needs to be healed. Amen. It's constantly at war with your flesh. Amen. Our flesh wins a whole lot of them battles. Yeah. Let's keep it. We, amen. They do. Our flesh wins a whole lot of battles. Yeah. And we're going to have this battle continually mm -hmm. every day of our lives because we're going to have this flesh. Right. It's not going anywhere. Right. And the flesh says, I want what I want when I want it. While our spirit is saying, this is not good for you. God says, this ain't good for you, but I want what I want when I want it. So the battle is constant. Amen? So our spirit must be strengthened and it must be healed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Comes only from one place. Yes. We can't get it psychoanalyzed. Uh -huh. We can't go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist. Uh -huh. We can't come to our best friends. We can't do any of these things because only he who gave you that spirit Amen. can heal that spirit. Yeah. Only he can make that spirit whole again uh -huh. to do what he has designed for it to do, which is to speak to us uh -huh. that we might do what God would have us to do. Yeah. Amen. So this is this is where we are. We're talking about healing as it is written. Amen. It means to mend. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To mend. Mm -hmm. To make to make holes and to make better. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're talking about. Psalm 41. Psalm 41 and verse 4. Psalm 41 and verse 4. Amen. Offers this. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Amen. That's why the scriptures say to guard your heart. Mm -hmm. And I think we talked about one other Sunday that heart, mind, and soul are all in the same place. Mm -hmm. Because within our soul is our intellect, mm -hmm. our emotions, 
and then, and I will. Mm -hmm. This is what comes under attack. Mm -hmm. This is what disagrees with our spirit. Mm -hmm. It can override our spirit if our spirit is not strong enough to deal with it. And if you have a wounded spirit, try going into a battle wounded. <coughs> try going into a physical battle mm -hmm. wounded. Mm -hmm. I promise you, you will not last long. Mm -hmm. You might put up a fight for a little while, but after a while, <laughs> amen, you're not going to last. You're going to get overridden by whatever you're coming up against. So whatever has, has been allowed to come inside and take up a dwelling place on the inside, and now it, it, it's got to be uprooted. Uh -huh. Only God can uproot that. This is why the prayer says, be merciful unto me and heal my soul. Yeah. This is a prayer to God Almighty. Why? For I have sinned against thee. I have done this against thee and thee only, as the songwriter said, read Psalm 51 and see what David has to say. Yeah. Yeah. Against you, Lord God, and you yeah. only have I done this thing. Yeah. Amen. That's why I need a clean heart created in me. Yeah. And I want my I don't want to lose my joy. Yeah. Even though I have done what I'm not supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you might be angry with me, Lord, don't take away my joy. Yeah. Don't take away my yeah. joy. Yeah. Hallelujah, don't take my joy. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Only you can be merciful and heal my soul, heal my mind, heal my thoughts. All of these things come together before we lay our hands, before we open mouth, before we put foot forward. All of these things, again, got to be agreed on the inside. That I didn't know what I was doing does not fly. Yeah. You did know what you were doing. Yeah. You knew exactly what you were doing. Yeah. Some situation or circumstance just brought that out. Yeah. You know how some of us yeah. used to do when we came from the club? Amen. 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 I was so drunk I didn't know what I was doing. That's a lie from the pits of hell. I've used it. I believe some of us have used it as well. But I was so mad I didn't know what I was doing. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Yes, you did. I was so sick I didn't know what I was doing. Church, we are in complete control of ourselves. The scriptures say that the, the, the will of the prophet is in control of the prophet. So you got control of whatever comes out of you. Amen. There are times when you lose it, anger can really make you lose control. Yeah. Now you can get so angry that you don't want to know, know what you're doing. This is what we call rage. Yeah. People feel it, show it all the time, road rage. Yeah. People do some things when they get mad, I'm here to tell you. Yeah, I'm here to tell you. That's why when people cut me off, flip me off, go to home, whatever, I'm just at peace. Yeah. I keep right on going. Because you don't know when the, if this person might cross the line. And now you on TikTok. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so we have to be mindful of these things. God's grace, God's mercy, and God's peace. Because if you were to go to that same level with them, that's not that's not a story with a happy ending, church. It really, really is not. So Lord, be mercy. Have mercy. Heal my soul. I have sinned against thee. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53. Verses 4 and 5, very, very, very familiar passages of scripture. Every preacher who has ever preached in a pulpit has used this. You, you, you know it so much by heart, you probably don't even have to look, because at the first word, you know what it's going to say. Uh -huh. Amen? We've been there so, so many times, but I, I, I'd encourage you to hear it in a different light. So as we start, what we're talking about is a healing of the spirit. Uh -huh. And it says, surely he has borne our griefs uh -huh. and carried our sorrows. Uh -huh. Yet we did esteem him stricken. Smitten of God and afflicted. In other words, you must have done something wrong uh -huh. to be going through what you're going through. Mm -hmm. It is not always the case. Don't you know that Job had no idea of that conversation that took place between God and the devil? Yeah. None whatsoever. We don't know what conversations are taking place about us between God and the devil. I promise you those conversations are going on. Have you tried my servant Charles Rumper? Yes. Hallelujah. Because we talk about it much. Without God's permission, yeah. you cannot be touched. Amen. Amen. God will allow certain things in your life to glorify Him and to lift you up. First thing, to glorify God. God does everything for His glory. Hallelujah. He is sovereign. He is creator. So He does everything to glorify Himself. It's not about ego. He's God. He created everything. He can do these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second part of it, you don't even have to read. He was wounded mm -hmm. for our transgressions. Yeah. 
he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his strife we are healed. We are talking about being healed in our spirits. Because Jesus came and he hung, bled, and died so that after we die, we can be with him. Not our flesh, but our spirits. So that healing was for a healing in our spirits. That our spirits might be healed. That's why he took all of that. That's why he laid his life down that our spirits might be healed. So that we could come in here every Sunday that we can and lift our voices in praise of him. Because it is because of him yeah. that we sit here and can do the things that we do. Yeah. The whole world ought to be glad that Jesus yeah. did what he did. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But they won't even acknowledge it. You know, I'm thinking about our, 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 our alphabet people, our LGBTQ. They, above all, should thank God for Jesus because they are all supposed to die. Yeah. Yeah. By the law, you are not supposed to live yeah. and do what you do. Right. But because Jesus died. My God, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Curtain went from top to the bottom. Yeah. Holiest of holies now available to everyone. Yeah. It does not matter what you've done. Yeah. He said, come unto me. Yeah. Confess with your mouth yeah. and believe in your heart. Yeah. And thou shalt be saved. Yeah. It does not matter who you are or what you've done. Yeah. Anybody can come. Yeah. Anyone can come. Yeah. The world should thank God for Jesus. Every gangbanger. Yeah. Every thief, every gambler, every liar, every cheater, yeah. all of these things that the law said you were supposed to die for. Uh -huh. yeah. Jesus died for them. Yeah. Yeah. All we have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That's our whole job. That's what scriptures tell us to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But without a healing in our spirit, you will never see any of these things. Yeah. Because there is a spirit that rests within us that's not good. Mm -hmm. Amen. People don't believe that we are naturally bad. I tell them, watch a little baby. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Watch them. Uh -huh. they, the first, what's the first word they know how to say? No. 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 Amen. <laughs> and if you get on their nerves bad enough, they're going to take a swing at you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> they will. <laughs> <Got one. laughs> Amen. Amen. Where did they get that from? Where were they taught how to do that? It's in your blood. It's in, it's, it's in you're born with it. All you do as you get older is get better at it. Amen. Amen. You become better at being bad. Mm -hmm. You become real good at being bad. Mm -hmm. And this is why Jesus died for our spirits to be healed. Yeah. With that spirit in you of, of, of lying, that spirit of cheating, that spirit of adultery, that spirit of whatever you, is causing you to do what you do, oh, yeah. it can be healed. Yeah. Jesus died so that it can be healed. Amen. We just read it with his stripes, we are healed. Yeah. It's already done. All we have to do yes. is accept what Jesus yeah. did. Yeah. Believe what Jesus yes. did. Yes. Live on what Jesus oh, did. Yeah. And live that life ourselves. Yeah. Is it easy? No, it's not. We are living witnesses. It is not the easiest no. thing to do. No. If it were easy, the church would be packed. We would be we would be trying to beat people out with a stick. Yeah. It would be it would be like the ark when it started to rain. They would be beating down the doors trying to get in. Yeah. But it's not easy. It's tough, Sister Lee. It gets rough sometimes yeah. with the things that we have to deal with, not only out there, but in here. We got to deal with stuff inside of these walls yeah. that could make you lose your religion. But Amen. God's grace, God's mercy, and God's peace keeps us. Hallelujah. In the name of Christ Jesus. Jeremiah 3. Jeremiah chapter 3. Some things make a smile onto your face, church, but they, this is life. This is the life that we live. And we're talking about spiritual healing that we all need. Every single one of us, without exception, needs this. Some to a greater degree than others, but we all need it just the same. We got, we're not going to make it on this Christian journey with a wounded spirit. It takes time. It takes time. It's not going to be an instant thing. It's not going to be a snap of your finger and it's done. It's a process. The process hurts you. And it's a process that will heal you. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Jeremiah 3. We're looking at verses 20 to 22. Jeremiah 3, verses 20 to 22. Offers this. It says, Surely, as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, so ye have dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. A voice was heard upon the high places, weeping and supplications of the children of Israel, for they have perverted their way, and they have forgotten the Lord their God. Return ye backsliding children, and I will heal your backsliders. 
Behold, we come unto thee, for thou art the Lord our God. We don't know any other place to go. Yeah. This is the only place that we can go. Yeah. We try to run just like Adam and Eve did when they got caught in the garden. They tried to run away from God and found out just like they did, you cannot run away. Yeah. Scripture says that there's no place you can go. Uh -huh. You can't even go to hell and get away from God. There is no place that you can go. So they know that the only place that they could go is back to the very God who had already brought them through time and time and time again. And time, and this is what he's saying. Treacherously have you done this? Because it's not the first time, Israel. It's not the first time, and the Kishye, it's not the first time that you have dealt treacherously with me. Yeah. But you've got to come back to me. Yeah. Because now you have a broken spirit, now you have a wounded spirit, and nobody can fix that but me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You can take your Ford to the corner mechanic, but he's not going to fix it like the Ford manufacturer. Yeah. The corner mechanic might put it back together for a little while, but eventually you're going to have to go back to the Ford guy to get it put together right. We've got to go back to our creator to get us put together right. And once he puts it together, it stays together. If we do our part. If we don't do our part, we're going to be right back there to the corner mechanic again. Hallelujah. So we must do these things and say, Behold unto thee, thou art the Lord our God. We must not forget that. And sometimes we have a tendency to run away. Amen. There are some of us do. Stop coming to church. Stop associating with godly people. And just go into isolation. Don't you know we are playing right into the devil's hands? Some folks say, well, oh, I'm going to spend my time alone with God. No, there's a difference. When God separates you, he shuts your hind parts down. Hallelujah. You can't move. When God wants to isolate you, you can't move. You can't move. You're not going anywhere. I've been there. I couldn't move. Sister Lee, you couldn't move. But you heard a word from the Lord, didn't you? Amen. Sister Rim couldn't move. But you heard a word from the Lord. This is how God separates you. Everything else we do on our own. Talk about I'm going to spend time with the Lord and stop going to church. Come on. What sense does that make? How do you stop associating with God's people to spend time with God? And God says, forsake not the assembly of yourself. Hallelujah. But we do things like that because we try to figure things out for ourselves. But what the scriptures tell us, lean not to your own understanding. My ways are higher than your ways. You can't think like I think. You can't see things. I got good things planned for you. I got great things planned for you. But with that wounded spirit and them blind eyes, you're going to be back with the corner mechanic again instead of coming back where you can be healed and made whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is just that good. I'm not telling you what I heard, church. I'm telling you what I know. Amen. Amen. You are drawn to it. It's, it's our nature to be drawn to God. Preacher said this morning, it's the nature of a hog to go to slop. Hallelujah. It's the nature of a child of God to come to God. This is who we are now. But that change on the inside of us, this is now who we are. Yeah. So it is so natural to be drawn to God. Don't you know we have to fight that urge to stay out of church? we got to fight that urge to stay away from people. Otherwise, we come to church. No matter what, we limp in, crawl in, roll in, wheelbarrow drove in, some kind of way, we get to the Lord's house. That is our nature now. So we have to fight against that. we got to break that law in order to do something. Same preacher was talking about an airplane. Airplane cannot fly mm -hmm. unless it breaks the law of gravity. That's it. Law of gravity simply says whatever goes up, yeah. it must come down. Yeah. But you can supersede that with another law. Yeah. The law of aerodynamics. Yeah. That says if you go fast enough, uh -huh. hard enough, strong enough, yeah. and put your wings out a certain way, you can yeah. fly. But don't change nothing. Uh -huh. yeah. You better keep doing what you're doing. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you're going to crash and burn. Yeah. This is the same if that God gives us. If, 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 it is huge. My part is already done. If you do your part, you can maintain that altitude and you can fly without turbulence. 
and get to where you're going in safety. Yeah. If not, it's going to be a rough ride. Yeah. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Yeah. It's going to be rains and clouds and thunder. You're going to, if you ever float on a plane when it does these things, it's a rough ride. Yeah. Amen. You're holding on to your seat and you thank God whenever it touched the ground. Yeah. Amen. You should thank God before it went off. Thank God while it's up there. And thank God when it hits the ground. But these are the things that we do. We try to get away from God. Let me make this perfectly clear. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot. You cannot get away from your creator. Amen. If he is omnipresent, yeah. omniscient, yeah. and omnipotent, yeah. he is everywhere. Yeah. He is everything yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And not only that, dwelling on the inside of you yeah. is his spirit. Yeah. How do you get away from that? There is no getting away. Yeah. Amen. So we stay where we are, doing what we doing. Amen. Hosea 6. Hosea chapter 6. If I'm moving too fast, somebody please let me know. Deacon King ain't here to slow me down. Amen. Hosea 6. We're looking at verses 1 through 3. Amen. Hosea 6. Verses 1 through 3. Amen. And here off of this. It says, Come and let us return unto the Lord. For he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind up. After two days he will revive us. And the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. If we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning, and he shall come into us as the rain, as the latter rain and the former rain unto the earth. If we follow on to know the Lord, and not just to know the Lord today, because it's Sunday, but to know the Lord every single day of the week. We've got to follow. Jesus said, follow me. That's not just on Sunday. Don't follow me to church. Follow me home. Follow me to school. Follow me to the grocery store. Follow me to the job. Follow me, follow me, follow me. If you keep on following me, yeah. these are the things, that, the former rain, the things that nourish the earth. This is what he's talking about, but these are the things that will nourish our spirits yeah. if we're following him. Just like the former rain and the latter rain, the rain before and the rain behind, we will, our spirits will be filled Amen. with the spirit of the living God. Yeah. Otherwise, we are on our own walking around with our wounded spirits and our blinded eyes. And we just creep along, thinking we're holy. My God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thinking that we're holy. Amen. Because all we know is what we know. Yeah. Church, don't you know that you can have all of God that you want? My yeah. God. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You can have all of God that you want. Mm -hmm. Do you want more of God? Yeah. Do you desire more of God? Yeah. It is our nature, again, if God's spirit is in us, to have those desires. Yeah. And don't you know we got to fight them off? Because it's no longer natural to do the things that we used to do. Yeah. we got to make ourselves do them. Yeah. And once we make ourselves do them, and now we're feeling bad about it, we're back in the prayer line, down the bottle of oil, doing all of those things. Back there, the, the corner store mechanic, trying to get a, a quick fix. There are no quick fixes. Nothing got us in it quickly. Nothing will get us out of it quickly. Yeah. Scripture says, if we follow to know the Lord, mm -hmm. his going forth is prepared as the morning and he shall come unto us as the rain. In other words, I am the same every single day of the week. Just as sure as the sun rises, I'm still God. Yeah. As sure as the sun sets, I'm still God. Yeah. As sure as the rain falls, I'm still God. Yeah. I am going to be God, but you've got to follow me. Amen. It might not seem quite sane to you sometimes, the things that I ask you to do. Yeah. But I said, trust me yeah. in these things. Trust me. Yeah. Joshua, your foot is going to come down on dry land. All you got to do is do what I do. Pick it up and put it down. Yeah. And when Joshua did that, he put his foot down on dry land. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have to be just that faithful. Mm -hmm. Our spirits have to be in touch and in tune with his because we are following him. There's no way that you can follow God and not be in touch and in tune with Amen. him. Everything that we do is about our relationship with him. Yes. Amen. We have a relationship as a church, yeah. but more than that, we got individual relations. We got personal relationship with yeah. him. Yeah. Without that personal relationship, we could not come together as a body mm -hmm. and cover it on anything. Mm -hmm. Because we'll all be walking around with our godly self, uh -huh. listening to these people talking about we gods and kings and queens. Come on, church. 
And we got to get ourselves together, get our heads out of that sand, Amen. open up our Bible, read it, associate with godly people, and start speaking life Amen. into ourselves. Amen. Following God and doing what God told us to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke 4. Yeah. Luke chapter 4. Yeah. We look at the verses 17 to 19. Luke chapter 4. Verses 17 through 19. And they offer this. Familiar passages of scripture. Again, you might be able to quote this one without looking. And it says, And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esaias. Mm -hmm. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recoverance of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. All of these things are aimed at our spirit. Amen. 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 All of these are spiritual things. Mm -hmm. The healing of the blind. The, we're talking about blind spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. A broken spiritual heart, which uh -huh. it comes along with a broken spirit. Mm -hmm. Everything else is broken when your spirit is broken. Yeah, right. Hallelujah. Everything associated with your spirit is broken. It's not just this piece, no, no, no. The whole thing is broken. This is why the whole thing needs to be healed. Amen. Whether it's partial, <laughs> broken, or completely broken. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some are completely broken. Mm -hmm. And these, sometimes we can tell simply by the way they carry themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us walk around with broken spirits with a <coughs> smile on our face. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Mm -hmm. That is not good. It is not. Let somebody know. Yeah. The problem is sometimes we don't always want to let people know what's right. going on with Amen. us because the truth be told, you just can't trust everybody with your information. Yeah. That's just the reality of things. Yeah. It does not matter where you are, whether you're inside of this building or any church or any place ever, you have to guard your information because yeah. sharing that with the wrong person yeah. it, it could be detrimental to them. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. and, and, and again, not only one of us, one of us going to be in the grave, the other one going to be in jail because you know when the ran your mind. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. It's so for another day. Another day, another day, another time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all don't, don't let me get off on those paths. To God be the glory. But to preach the gospel to the poor. These are the poor. The, the scriptures say blessed are the poor in spirit. Yeah. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Yeah. Amen. And it sends me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. All of these are talking about our spirit. Yeah. They happen in our flesh. But first of all, they happen in our spirit. Yeah. What we see manifested in our flesh is a result of what happened in our spirit. Yeah. Amen? By the time we see it, it's a done deal. It's already finished and completed on the inside. What you see is the manifestation yeah. on the outside. Yeah. However that manifests, yeah. whatever is going on, if your spirit is joyful, you're going to be joyful. Yeah. You really will. And things are imbalanced. Because a broken spirit throws everything out of balance. Yeah. Yeah. Your soul is out of balance. Your mind is out of balance. Your intellect is out of balance. You, you might even walk funny. Who knows? But things are just not right when your spirit is not right. Yeah. Amen. This is what these scriptures are talking about. Healing of our spirit. Mm -hmm. Getting that spirit made whole again. Mm -hmm. So it can communicate with our creator. Mm -hmm. And finally, Revelation 22. Revelation 22. Looking at verses 1 and 2. Revelation 22, verses 1 and 2. Amen. And John says, And he showed me a pure river, a river of water. Hallelujah. Let me back up. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of it, and on either side of the river, there was, the, was there the tree of life which bear twelve manner of fruit, and yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Mm -hmm. This is for everybody. Mm -hmm. A lot of these scriptures talked about individual healing, mm -hmm. but this tree is for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's always in bloom. Mm -hmm. It's always bearing fruit. That means every month there's fruit on this tree. Mm -hmm. it does, scripture doesn't say what it is, if it's the same fruit, Amen. if it's a different fruit. Right. Actually, it don't really matter. It's not really relevant. The only thing that matters is the fact that the fruit will be there yeah. every month. Yeah. And it's available. Right. It is available. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that things set back as they were in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Animals won't be killing one another. Mm -hmm. We won't be killing animals for their food. 
The earth will be feeding everyone as God had designed it to be done. Did you know we were all supposed to be vegan church? We were not supposed to eat meat at all, but I think I told you once before, because of sin, we eat meat. Amen. Amen. So I do believe that things are going to be right. And all these leaves for the healing of the nations. And again, we're talking about spiritual healing. This is uh, the millennium. That thousand year reign yeah. where Christ will rule in perfection. Mm -hmm. At the end of that thousand years, the devil is going to be released again. Yeah. And as crazy as we are, and as perfectly as Christ ruled for a thousand years, mm -hmm. there are still going to be some who choose to go with the devil. Mm -hmm. Because God is not going to make anybody come to He's not going to force you. Even after a thousand years mm -hmm. of perfect rule, mm -hmm. and Christ can only rule perfectly. That's just who He is. After that, the devil is set free. And he's going to dangle some things in front of him and they're going to follow him. Amen. Because God says you got to choose. Mm -hmm. Not because I've been good to you, mm -hmm. but because you know who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. After a thousand years, you know who I am. Yeah. And now you're going to follow this joker after a couple of days he dangles something in front of your face. Yeah. But this is just the way things are. Mm -hmm. This is how it's written in scripture that it's going to be. Scripture don't tell you why the devil is loose, but he's loose so that you can choose mm -hmm. to serve God. Yeah. Not serve God because, not like you know, the devil talked about Job, you know, he's only being good because you got that edge around him. Uh -huh. Not to serve God because he's been good for a thousand years, but because, as I say, after that much time, you really know yeah. who yeah. Jesus is. Yeah. And even after that, you still choose to serve the devil. Some things are relevant and prevalent right now. Yeah. We know who Jesus is. Uh -huh. yeah. We know what Jesus did. Yeah. We know how he hung, bled, and died on an old rugged cross. Yeah. We know how the curtain was rent from the top to the bottom. Yeah. We know how his hands were nailed, uh -huh. how his feet were nailed, yeah. how his side was speared, how they beat him till he was bloody from the crown of his head yeah. to the sole of his feet. Church, don't you know that there was not a place on Jesus' body that was not bruised or broken yeah. or cut? Yeah. And he died mm -hmm. and preached in the depth of hell that all mm -hmm. written about me has now been fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. God rose him up, gave him all power in heaven and in oh, earth. God. With that knowledge yeah. of the word of God, people still choose to serve the devil. Yeah. Amen. They still choose oh, that thing that whatever he's dangling in front of your yeah. face that I can tell you, well, hey, God can't do this for you. God can't do that for you. There are certain things that God won't do for you because God knows you. Uh -huh. He knows what you'll do if you get your hands on this. So hallelujah. So he does, he does not allow these things to come to place. God does, God loves, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God loves us. We might think it's strange sometimes the way God shows his love, but it's perfect. Yeah. It's without flaw. It yeah. is without error. Everything that yeah. God does in our lives, yeah. it don't seem too good to us sometimes, but seek ye first yeah. God's kingdom and his righteousness yeah. and all of these things, including the answers to those questions, yeah. will be given to you. Yeah. Once you seek God first, I'm preaching to myself because he tells me this all the time. Uh -huh. Where, 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 God, what am I supposed to do? Seek my word. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Seek me constantly. Yeah. I'll add the rest of this stuff to you. I know what you want. Yeah. I knew what you want before you asked for it. Yeah. I knew what you wanted before you thought about it. Yeah. Get into my word. Uh -huh. Get into my will. Yeah. Get into my way and I'll open these doors yeah. for you. Yeah. But you're not going to get a door open for you until you're ready yeah. to have that door open. Yeah. And don't get mad when I shut these doors uh -huh. so that I can open yeah. those doors. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God knows yeah. what to do, yeah. when to do, how to do, yeah. who to do it to, right. who to put into your life, yeah. who to bring out of your life. Yeah. So especially that person, God, people is what break our spirits. Uh -huh. People is what get us depressed. Uh -huh. We can do it ourselves real easy, uh -huh. but if, and if God will not do it unless he's going to bless you. Uh -huh. He's got something better for you. Yeah. But people will get in there and they'll get on your nerves and they'll, amen, and they'll do all kinds of things that before you know it, you are now just like the person that you are mad at. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 We fall into that real easy. Mm -hmm. Real, real easy. This is what I was saying about the road rage. We've got to have God's mercy, yeah. God's grace, mm -hmm. and God's peace. What a timely song. Sister, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. You know I love that song. Right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. God's grace, God's mercy, and God's peace. Yeah. All of those attend to a healthy spirit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Without those three, you won't have a healthy spirit. Your spirit will be constantly broken. 
So seek God today. First of all, let him identify what's broken. Mm -hmm. Let him tell you, this is what's broken right. in you, my child. Yeah. This is what's broken around you. Mm -hmm. And this is how we're going to fix it. Lord, you got to do that? Yes. Look at what you did to get broken. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Think about how you got into this. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to get out of it without me. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not going to get it whole, healed, yeah. completely without me. Amen. You can patch it up as best you can. Because we tried. We tried to patch it up with a little gin and juice. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. We tried to patch it up. Make it seem not so bad. Amen. But it was still there. Amen. When the hung, or you were hung over. And it was still there. Yes. The problem didn't go away. Because that cannot, earthly things cannot fix Amen. spiritual things. Amen. Only God can fix things of the spirit. We cannot do it ourselves. Amen. There's nowhere we can go, no, no one we can run to for spiritual healing. It can only come from the one who gave you that spirit in the first place. Amen. Because that is his breath. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's his breath. Yes. That is in us. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And so today, yes. while we're in the Lord's house, there's somebody with a broken spirit, a contrite spirit, a broken heart, blind eyes. So many things going on with us from the inside out. People that we know, folks that we don't know. Pray for the people over in Gaza. They're having a rough time. Pray for the ones in Ukraine. They're having a rough time. People are getting flooded out in Afghanistan. People are having a rough time. Wildfires burning up in Canada. They're having a rough time. Still ain't got no clean water in Jackson, Mississippi and Flint, Michigan. People are having a rough time. Church, we always got somebody to pray for. And again, if you can't think of nobody to pray for, pray for yourself. But there's somebody in front of you, somebody beside you, somebody within close proximity. If you still don't want to be touched, it's not a problem. It is not a problem. We can do that because prayers can go beyond that. We say to lay with the laying on of hands, but it's not necessary to pray for somebody. So if there's somebody you know that needs prayer, you know the uh, the preacher, the, the deacon mentioned Brother McLean. Let's keep Brother McLean in prayer. Yeah. Let's keep Sister McLean in prayer because she's the one got to take care of. It. Yeah. Amen. Let's pray for uh, Sister Jones. Pray for Deacon Jones because he's got to take care of it. Yeah. Amen. Pray for so many people. Pray for Mother Moore. Yeah. Pray for Deacon King. Absolutely. There are lots of people that we know that need prayer. Yes. Amen. Yes. And if nothing else, it's yes. me, it's me, it's me, yes. oh Lord, that's yes. in need of prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. <laughs> Amen. Because our God is just that good. Oh my yes. Gracious and Heavenly Father, Lord, our God. Yes, Lord. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. That you thought it not robbery to give us yes, another text. Yes, yes, yes. We thank you, Lord God, yes. that the sun rose, yes, but you opened our eyes yes. to see the sunrise. Yes. Thankful, Father, yes. for the rainfall, yes. but our ears were open to hear the drops as they fell. Yes. Thankful, Lord God, that you think it not robbery to see us another Sunday, to bring us into the Lord's house another Sunday to bring us together another Sunday, that we might pray ye one for another, dear Lord, that we might come together in fellowship with all that's going on in each and every one of our lives. The deacon said, you spoke and you woke us up. It wasn't the alarm clock. It wasn't the noise of the streets. It wasn't anything going on on the outside of us that got us up. But it was you, Lord, who spoke to the singing, spoke to these bones, spoke to this heart, spoke to these lungs, spoke to these hands, spoke to these legs, spoke to these minds, spoke to these feet, and said, get up. Get up. It is Sunday morning. I gave you another day to pray. I gave you another day to praise. I gave you, hallelujah, I gave you another day to worship. I gave you another day to come and fellowship. I gave you another day to sing another song of praise. I gave you another day to open my word and read it. Gave you another day to come down to my house and fellowship. Thank you. Gave you another day to sit in the church house on a Sunday morning. Gave you another day to sit with your brothers and your sisters in fellowship. Gave you another day 
that your eyes were open and you can see your legs come off. The blood was kept running warm in your veins. You didn't do this by yourself. I gave you another day. Another day. Another day. To recognize my spirit that lives in you. Gave you another day to lift your voices in praise. Gave you another day to come down to the church. You made it here safely, covered by my spirit, dwelling on the inside. Gave you another day to sing another song and to say another prayer. Gave you another day to see your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren. Gave you another day to sing a song of praise to me. I am the Lord thy God, and I do all of these things. I create the good. I create the bad. I have a sword that can cut both ways. Not only can my sword cut through sinew and bone, it can cut through sword. It can cut through spirit. It can cut through all things that are going along in your life. I can fix it. Nothing that I can't heal. Nothing that I can't cure. But the words spoken by me, nevertheless, I take you down some paths that are dark. I take you down some paths that are dangerous. I take you down some paths that don't seem like you ought to be there as a child of God. But I know you. I know every hair on your head. I know every step you're going to take. I know every mistake you're going to make. I know every tear you're going to cry. I know everyone who's going to come in and out of your life. I am the Lord thy God, and I know all these things. And I can speak a word. Lies will be changed. I can speak a word. Spirit will be healed. I can speak a word, and blinded eyes will be opened. I can speak a word, and the lame will lead your pet left. I can speak a word, and get you off of your bed of affliction. I can speak a word, and cure the war. I can cure the famine. I can cure all things that are going wrong in this world. I can speak a word and do all of these things nevertheless. If you follow me, there are things I can do for you. If you follow me, I can fix that contract spirit. If you follow me, I can set you on a path of righteousness. If you follow me, I can focus your eyes on where they need to be. If you follow me, you can walk a better walk. You can talk a better talk. If you follow me, you can sing a better song. If you follow me, you can love like I love. You can give like I give. Hallelujah. If you follow me, all of these things are available to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your kindness, and your grace. Thank you, Father, for your presence in this place. As we pray one for another, dear Lord, I do pray for Brother Marvin Billingsley lying on a bed of affliction. I do pray for Brother uh, Wendell McLean. I also pray for Brothers Lester and Aaron McLean. Father, I pray for Vera Lorraine and McKeese. I pray for Margaret Moore. Come in, Father, I pray for Shirley Jones. Dear Lord, I pray for Barbara Ross. Come in, Father, I pray for Mary Horn. I pray, dear Lord, for Daryl and, and Gail Jones. Hallelujah. All of those who are sick and shut in among us. Father, I pray for William Randall who sits behind bars. I pray for Brandon Hughes. I pray for my little brother Michael. And dear Lord, I pray for uh, 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 I pray for uh, hallelujah. You know who I'm praying for. Lord God, I thank you. Brother Bernard Reese. Hallelujah. I pray for Bernard Reese. Dear Lord, all who are physically behind bars. But you can speak a word and set their minds and their spirits free. So Lord God, they can be just like Paul and Silas. Doors can be opened. Chains can be broken. And freedom is available just by a word from you. But Father, we'd like you to speak a word to the ungodly. Those who missed the mark. Those who are still out there knee deep in their sin as we once were. And you spoke a word. And Father, I pray that they hear your voice. Recognize you as Lord, as God. Heed your voice and turn from their wicked ways. This, Father, is my prayer for all of them. And Heavenly Father, I pray most of all for those who just don't believe that there's a God. That just don't believe that it's worth getting up on Sunday. That just don't believe that Jesus Christ is real. That just don't believe in any of the things that we preach about and we sing about. Lord God, I pray for them more than anything. That you will speak to those men, those hard hearts. Those uncircumcised minds, Lord God, those uncircumcised hearts. 
that only you can speak to and speak to them this day and let them know that the earth is still the Lord's. You have not lost control of anything. You are still king of kings. You are still Lord of lords. You still sit high and look low. And you're still our Lord, our God, our master, and our creator. Father, these things we ask in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. These are the requests that we are making known to you. Yes. And these things we ask in the name of your only begotten Son. Yes. In the name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, we pray and we say amen. 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 And amen. amen. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land. Where I'm bound. Sunday, every opportunity to give someone that chance yeah. to confess and believe yeah. and accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. This is why we're here. Hallelujah. Not just to sing songs and, 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 and have fun and, and watch some crazy person jump up and down and yell and scream in front of it, but we're here to be empowered. Yeah. We're here to take, a, take that yoke upon us and yeah. learn of him, yeah. learn about him, learn what he has to teach us and what he has to say about each and every one of our lives. Yeah. And then at every opportunity, share that yeah. with a dying world. Yeah. Jesus never forced himself on anybody. Yeah. He would lay it out for you and say, now you choose. Mm -hmm. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. We can't save nobody. My God. We use the term saving souls with church. We can't save Amen. nobody. Amen. We can only give them the word of God. Yeah. After that, it's between them and God. Yeah. We've done our part. The blood is no longer on our hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we can still have God's grace, yeah. God's mercy, yeah. and God's peace. Yeah, yeah. If y'all tired of hearing me say that, we'll be going in a little while and you won't have to hear it. No. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. To that land. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land. Where I'm bound, where I'm bound. Come and go to that land. Let yourself be Father, Lord, my God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the offering that is about to be taken up. May it go and do all that you have purposed for the building of this body, for the edifying of this body, for the building of the sanctuary. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land. Come and go to that land. Where I'm bound. Where I'm bound. Come and go. God be all glory, all majesty, all honor, and all yeah. praise. Yeah. Amen. As we continue to move forward with the building of the sanctuary, church is going to be here in a minute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And before too long, you know that they, amen. It's, it's, it's hallelujah. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. These things, they bring joy. Gracious yes. Heavenly Father, Lord my God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the offer that was given. Father, for those who gave and those who just did not have it to give at this time. Lord God, we're just thank, thankful for cheerful giving. Yes. This house yes. was built on cheerful giving. Yes. And we thank you, Father, for each and every one. And let it go and do again as you have purpose for it to do yes. in the building of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. God be the Lord. God be the Lord. Amen. Amen. Again, thank each and every one who thought in our robbery to come out for a little while this morning. And I and I pray that something spoke to your spirit. You know, that spoke to me even if even as I was speaking. God is just good like that. Yes, and it's Amen. happened, I'm pretty sure, to everyone who's ever got up to give a testimony, that while you were giving that testimony, God spoke to you mm -hmm. something to speak to everybody else. This is what we call prophesying and speaking by inspiration. This is not to say that we're all prophets, but the Spirit of God in you will do that if we follow Him and if we let Him do what He does. Um, as I come on for little people. Amen. Amen. Seed of the righteous. That's an awesome thing. I know we don't think so sometimes when they're doing their thing, but they are the seed of the righteous. Amen. Amen. We were them. We, we were them at some point in time. You know, somebody tell us to sit down and be quiet. You know why we say that one Bible verse that we do, Jesus wept. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, any other announcements that we need anything we need to cover? Yes, ma'am. Um, we did set a date for Vacation Bible School, um, the 17th through the 21st of June. I have um, applications and flyers here. If anyone wants to uh, get an application or a flyer, I have them here. Mm -hmm. The deadline, I believe, was June 6th. Or to turn, I believe it was June 6th, to turn in the application. So if anyone wants any, um, please see me after church. Amen. 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 And vacation Bible school is a good thing. It's a Amen. good thing. It might not seem like it. It's not like it once was, you know, but there's teaching that goes on yes. in vacation Bible school. Mm -hmm. And they're taught at a young age. As I said many times, yeah. they're like little sponges. Mm -hmm. They soak up everything. Yeah. So let them soak up a word from the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then while they're soaking up everything else out in the cares of the world, mm -hmm. let, them, let them carry that word of God <laughs> as well. Amen. If our hearts and minds are clear. Amen. Amen. You got something? Oh, okay, amen. Mm -hmm. All hearts and minds. Tell them you're ready to go, right? Yes, <laughs> I could, but that is not necessary. Amen. amen. I, I, I would, I would say this. Amen. Um, I would implore people and our membership to go down there. We do have a tap in uh, the street now. They did dug up uh, the, the fire main and the water. It's connected. Um, they're just doing the testing now. We had the uh, surveys came, uh, survey came out last Thursday, and they have marked the actual uh, building corners. So now that that uh, the next thing will happen is they will be forming up to pour the foundation. Oh my God! Amen. This is why I urge the committees. That's the that, that's good rolling. That's why I told Mother Demons I got the road. Amen. Amen. She ain't paying me no attention, but that's all right. I still love her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I'm talking about you. <laughs> it's good. Don't worry. <laughs> it's all good. Amen. Amen. This may be the last time. This may be the last time. This may be the last time. It may be the last time, I don't know where this may be the last time. This may be the last time, this may be the last time, it may be the last time, I don't know. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord our God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray as always that all that we have done this day will be pleasing in thy sight. 
Every song sung, Father, every testimony given, every amen and every hallelujah was to your praise and to your glory. And as we leave this place and we go our separate ways, Lord God, we ask you to guard and guide us on the highways and byways that we're kept free from yes. danger seen and unseen. And this and each Sunday we make this declaration that with the aid and the power of the Holy Spirit that this body shall live and not die. Father, yeah. this is our prayer. And these things we ask in the name of your only begotten Son, in the name of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, we pray and we say amen. 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 And amen. amen. Keep looking up. Your redemption draweth nigh.